today we're gonna start ripping the roof off last video I did showed me tearing everything off got a new GoPro don't know much about it but all my concrete turned hard got white like I was supposed to I think the tin's gonna be a train wreck we'll go look I already got tin ordered for it because it was leaking all over so let's go take a look at that and then start ripping it off well I used to do everything with my iPhone and on vacation I bought a new GoPro to help me film this better this is the first time I did anything with head mounts so hopefully it don't look too awful but you can see he got a bunch of tin from somebody back in the day and he patched it in and there's nothing wrong with that if you're not storing anything in the garage it's worth much but when you're starting to put money and insulation into things I figured put new tin on the roof you can see here he's got holes everywhere but people make do with what they got and he didn't have much so he made the most of it I'm gonna start ripping this off you can see on this side of the shed he had to cut part of the eave off and the reason being it went over the neighbor's property so I'm gonna match that eave on the west and the east side so we'll put on the old time lapse and see what it looks like when we're done You can see we got all sorts of creatures living up here. We got wasp nest, bug nest, mud daubers, all sorts of fun. Ugh. What you find when you start taking stuff apart? Oh, well, back to it. Well, let's see what kind of train wreck this is gonna be. The roof's pretty firm because they got purlins in between. This side's a lip, so I'll zip all this off on the far side. I figure start on the, the west side, I don't know why. And then uh, work my way to the east, probably because my ladder's on the east side. So you guys that do all these tin and roofs, are you guys a believer of the screws on top, like this, or the screws in the valley? I've seen it done both ways. My thought with the screws on top, like this guy did it. The water doesn't run up out here on top very much compared to the bottom. So it shouldn't leak as much. But on the other hand, you can see if we drew this in, we could we could bend the tin and flex it. So I don't know which way is better or worse. <clears throat> I've always put it in the valley like this right here. But then that's where all the water's gonna sit, so it's a horse apiece probably. So let's see how this comes off here. We're almost done. Why is it that every time you get close to the edge, the, your heart starts beating a little more than it used to? I don't know. We gotta do some deleting to the tree over here. So I don't scratch a new tin. Oh, forgot one more screw here. See what kind of joys we got underneath this little jewel. All right. Oh, never fails. One blasted screw. Wonder how many more times I'm gonna do that tonight. All righty. We got that off, lifting her up. Got that over here. 
And whoo yeah, that's that's nice and rotten. Definitely don't stand on that. You'll be winding up with one of them in your yeah, so alright. Back to it. So the heart's beating a little bit. <laughs> I just unscrewed all them. And as I was switching over from this panel to this panel, I got about a two and a half foot ride down the roof. Luckily I still had screws in this one, but that was the first one that gave way on me and woo that uh that made me wake up a little bit. Oh well, back to it. Well, got the first half off. I'm just gonna come up from the bottom and hit this buffalo board up or whatever they call this crap. No accidents yet, even though that was pretty close there. Whew. Still going the old heart is. So I'll rip off this side and then probably hopefully get this underside done so I only have to take one shower with the bird poop on me and we'll start putting her back together maybe. All right, we're down the last sheet and a half. I don't want to bubble and forest gump myself up here and not be able to get down. So I'm gonna start from the top, work my way down, take off the last bit of screws with the ladder. So far, still alive. No cuts, no scrapes. Thank the Lord. Back at it. So I got one screw at the top holding this crap on. Hopefully I'll be able to crawl down my ladder, move this stuff off to the side, take out that last screw and be yelling timber. Well, this is for all the onions. See if it works. Feels loose. One. Victory. Now time to get all this black stuff off. Back in. So, I guess I'm going to try going from the bottom. Because that stuff's so wavy, I don't want to step through it. You can see the waves. So I'm going to get a board here. And this is, this is probably going to suck. Well, let's see how sucky it's going to be here. Oh, 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 that ain't too bad, really. <coughs> ah, pooey. Pooey. There's one. Ah. <coughs> Rotten crap ain't gonna be too bad to take off, so <coughs> when you shower, <coughs> bird poop and everything. Ah, shoo! Yeah, everything else. So, anyways, so you guys don't have to hear me spitting and sputtering out here. Back at it. Well, old Max showed up. I think I'm gonna call it a wrap here. We only got one rotten two by four, so that's good to fix. Pick up my mess and maybe put tin on tomorrow. We'll see. Till then, back at it.